today I'm gonna show you how to create and sell logo templates online by the end of this video you're gonna learn how to make templates and logos like these just by using three applications ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Canva all of which have free plans first I want to show you guys some of the insane income that some of these stores are generating let's take a look at one of these stores that's generated over hundred fifty thousand just by selling logo templates this listing right here has pre-designed real estate logos which sell for $13.68 and it's actually on a sale and if we go to the store we can see that this store actually has 6,793 sales and that would put this store's revenue at just over a hundred thousand and again this isn't the only store if we take a look at this store by Andrew pixel this listing is offering coaching logo templates and you can see that it's twenty two dollars and fifty eight cents once again if we go on their store we can see that they have seven thousand and seventy four sales that would bring this store's revenue to over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and the best part about business models like this is that once you get a logo sold you can often upsell these mock-ups like business cards postcards social media headers and you can sell so many more templates to the same customer and on top of that most of this work is passive you'll have a couple hours putting in upfront active work where you're creating designing the logo setting up your listing on Etsy but after that these orders just come in passively and luckily we can use AI to do most of the heavy lifting we no longer have to be graphic designers or super well versed in Adobe Illustrator to make these logo templates let's get into exactly how we can use these AI tools to start making some of these logo templates so you can start selling on your own making thousands of dollars per month now some of the basic tools that you're gonna need and in this video specifically I'm using ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Canva. Like I mentioned, all of these have free plans, but because we plan on selling these logo templates, you're gonna need access to commercial rights. So for Midjourney, you're gonna need to use the starter plan, which right now is $10 a month. Now, if you guys are anything like me, you're probably wondering, well, I get the idea, right? Make some logos, sell them online as templates, but what logos do I actually make? I mean, I need some ideas here. And so that's where we're gonna use ChatGPT. So the first thing I'm gonna ask is I'm literally gonna ask what are some good templates that I can design. Hello. Always be nice to the AI just in case they take over. I'm trying to create logo templates to sell online. What are 10 of the most profitable templates that I could create? Very simple. You just want to talk to it like it's your buddy and it's going to give you some great ideas. So now it's going to generate us this crazy list of logos and designs that we can use. So it's giving us minimalist logos, vintage logos, geometric logos, handwritten logos, monogram logos, mascot logos, badge logos, a whole bunch of ideas. But if you're confused on what these actually mean, let's just ask it some more questions. Can you give me examples of each logo? So now if you guys are confused on what type of logos these are, minimalist logos, it would say Apple, the Nike swoosh, Airbnb logo, vintage logos, Coca-Cola, Levi's, Harley Davidson. So this is actually super helpful because if I look at something like mascot, we have KFC, Michelin, Pringles. So now you know exactly what type of logos you might or might not want to get into. Abstract logos is Pepsi, Nike again, a modern version, whatever that is, and the Amazon logo. And so I'm just going to pick a couple of these and we'll try to make some different variations of logos. So I'm gonna go with minimalist logos, handwritten logos, and then mascot logos. So now that I picked three categories that I wanna dive deeper on, let's actually ask ChatGPT for some examples of what we should make. So for mascot logos, I'm just gonna ask it, please give me 10 ideas for mascot logos. Remember, they should be popular templates. So now it's going to give me actual ideas that are specific to the category I've selected. We have animal mascots, sports mascots, food mascots, and a whole bunch more. And so I'm going to do this for the other two categories and see what we get. Here's what it gave me for minimalist logos, letter mark logos, word mark logos, symbol logos, and here's what it gave me for handwritten logos. And because I know how mid journey works, actually adding in with props is gonna give you way better results. So I'm gonna type in the same prompt, but when I type handwritten, 
I'm going to add with props slash items. So now it's giving us actual items like coffee cups, cameras, paintbrushes, hearts. And these are things that we can really use to create awesome logos. And so if you notice, it actually did this automatically with the animal ones. It gave us examples of lions, tigers, bears, wolves, eagles. So let's try making a couple of those logos. I want to try making an owl logo. So now that we have an idea of what type of logos we're going to get into, let's head over to mid journey and start creating some of these prompts. One thing you want to be sure of is that you're using version five. If you want to be sure, just do slash settings, enter, and you're going to click MJ version five. So now we're going to head over to discord. And you can see I was already experimenting with some logos up here, but let's try making one of those owl logos. So I'm just gonna type in slash imagine, I'm gonna type an owl logo and we'll see what that gives us. But I wanna be more specific and for a logo, there's some keywords that we're gonna wanna use. So let's type slash imagine a cute owl logo, some keywords we might wanna use, icon, vector, and that should probably be good enough. Now let's see what it makes and let's see some of the differences between these two. So here's what we got when we just typed an owl logo and we actually got some pretty cool designs so I think I underestimated it. I think this one in the bottom right is clean enough where we could definitely use this as a logo but let's see what the other prompt gave us and so as you can see right here this is what happens when we put cute it definitely adds some flair to it this one right here even looks like the duolingo owl i like this one that's asleep this one looks pretty angry but let me actually show you what we can do with some of these so because i like this one i'm gonna click u4 and that's just gonna make this one full size resolution there we go right here and now it's a full size picture and i actually like this one in the bottom right corner so let's make that one the same thing and so once we have these full size images, we can make variations of these. So let's try variations of both of these. And if you want to be specific, you can type brown, black, red, whatever type of owl. But in this scenario, I'm going to type with text that says Khan Academy. And then I'm just going to submit that. For this one, I'm just going to let it make its own variations. So I'm going to click make variations and just submit it as is. Now, while we can get some really cool variations, as you'll see from this, there's an even better way to find similar images. And so you can see this one right here. It didn't actually add the text, but I'm going to go ahead and scroll back to this one. I'm going to click open in web. So that brought me to this website. And what I want you to guys see is if you scroll down, you can see related images. And so these are all icons or logos that other people have made. So let's find one that we like. And I would say I really like this one right here. And we can see the exact prompt that they use logo design owl flat minimal modern vector logo and then we can see similar ones to those and the cool thing is that we can keep scrolling until we find ones that we like so very simple abstract brown owl logo for writing app and then we can find even more that are similar to this one so you can definitely play around and figure out what kind of words get what type of results so I'm gonna go ahead and do some more prompts for the other ones I'll show you what I used and I'll show you what the results ended up being and so if you guys remember Remember, ChatGPT actually gave us ideas. So I'm gonna try a couple of these and see which one looks best. Later. Guys, this is crazy. Look at some of the logos that I was able to make. So for camera, I wrote hand-drawn vintage logo camera flat background. Pretty simple. And to make these awesome retro-like cameras. For coffee, I put hand-drawn vintage logo coffee cup flat background, same thing. And it made these logos and these are so unique and so usable. We're gonna see how to put these into Canva and they're gonna come up with awesome logos. And then finally, I did one with a heart. And this definitely looks like it could be a nonprofit logo or something for charity. And so now what I'm going to do is generate a couple more images, pick three, and then we're going to start editing those in Canva. So guys, I picked three and I'm going to go ahead and go with this camera, this puppy, and then finally this coffee cup. So I'm going to download these and then throw them all into Canva. Okay, so now I'm in Canva. I'm just going to create a simple design. I'm going to make an Instagram post square because it's the easiest to work in. So the first one I want to work on is this puppy one. And let's try to make this one nice and easy. And if you just right click set images background, it fits the size. Now, the main thing we want to do is add some sort of font. And then that way we can resell it as a template. If we go to text, I'm just going to find the default text. So let's just type in Rachel's 
pet supplies. And then we're gonna find a way to format this so that it looks nice. So one thing we can do is do kind of a half circle. So I'm actually gonna take this out. I'm going to paste it back so it's separated. And now what I'm gonna do is put a circle behind the puppy. So I'm just gonna import a simple circle, expand that so it fits over the puppy, and then change the colors. We go here, let's try to get one of the default colors from the photo. And then we're just gonna move it to back. And the next step we're gonna need to do, let's click on this photo and we actually need to remove the background. So if we click on edit photo, we just click BG remover and it's gonna automatically do this for us. Now we can put the circle over it. We're gonna need to detach the image from the background. We can center the circle. Now we can overlay the puppy on it and now we can start playing around with it. So once we center both, now we have the formation of the start of the logo. I actually went ahead and changed the color to this blue because I think it goes better. And now it's time to find a font for this. I'm just gonna scroll through their fonts and see what looks best. So I went ahead and chose this font, Alice, and now what I'm gonna do is make it white. And because to me it doesn't look too good like that, I'm gonna add a curve effect. I just click curve, and now I adjust the curve to fit according to the circle. And so now I'm just gonna apply the same effect and font to the other text. So there we go, that's the final product. I could definitely make it better. I could try maybe italicizing this and it would look better. There we go, if I italicize the top or if I bold it. I think that you could definitely add a lot of flair for this one, I can tell. That you might need more letter spacing, so let's try that. And there we go. To me, that looks great and you can definitely start selling templates like these on Etsy. Now, when you actually are finished, here's what you do. You click share and then you're gonna wanna click template link. And this says anyone with this link can use this design as a template which is exactly what you need for Etsy. So you're just gonna copy this, and then once you set up your listing in Etsy, this is all you're gonna give to your customers. And this is what's called your digital delivery. So to show you guys how easy this is, I'm gonna try to design the next two logos in five minutes or less. So for this one, when I try to remove the background, it doesn't really work as you can see. So I'm actually gonna do this brush size and you can definitely remove some of this yourself or restore. So I'm just gonna restore the middle here and it's as easy as that. Okay, so that's the final one for Samantha's coffee. So I just finished making the logos and honestly, I really do think they look awesome. I'm not a logo designer, but I definitely know people that would pay for these. And because they are templates, you're not gonna be selling them too expensive. People are just gonna be able to customize the font, the color schemes, and the words, of course. So once again, you're gonna click share, template link, and this is exactly what you're gonna send out to your customers on Etsy. So hope you guys found this video super valuable. Be sure to subscribe because next week I'm posting a video with four digital products that you could sell on Etsy, just like this one, which are templates that just require upfront work and then all the money you get is passive. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.